Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Let's talk today about the corner trap nonsense. I thought it was time to do another video about this because over the last three weeks I've received 14 calls. People that bought corner traps and are disappointed. And we're going to talk about that. And, but let's walk through a little bit of the physics first so you can understand why they're disappointed. A modal definition is unwanted pressure between two, four, six parallel surfaces. Two parallel surfaces, axial modes, four, tangential, six, oblique. They all have their individual weights in terms of audibility and distortion, but it doesn't change the definition. It's two parallel wall surfaces, not two parallel corners. It's just physics, okay? Nowhere in the definition. Does it mention corners? Think about it. How can just a corner cause a problem? It's the whole wall, right? Let's assume, for sake of discussion, because I get a lot of calls on this, let's assume for sake of discussion that the corner would treat the whole wall surface, because that's what's causing the problem. If the whole wall's producing the issue, how can treating just the corner help? Let's look at that. Let's assume it does. What percentage of the corner represented against the whole wall? Maybe what, 5, 10%? I don't know. It depends on room size, I would, I would say. Maybe there's some linearity there. But the bottom line is you can't treat a problem that's caused by the total wall surface with 5 to 10% surface area coverage. You can't do it. It's not going to work. I don't care if you have the world's most powerful technology in terms of low frequency, which we do. We can't do this. So how are boxes filled with building insulation going to do it? They're not. It's marketing. Marketing to the uninformed and uninitiated. I'm sorry, but that's the way it works. If you're not informed and you don't understand why, you'll get taken advantage of. That's just how it is in, in today's world. You, you know, there's so much information and there's so much going on so quickly that you got to stay on top of it and you got to be informed. Here's another issue. Our educational system's horrible. I cannot tell you the people I talk to that have no knowledge of math, no knowledge of physical science. They don't understand physics. I get it. It's complicated. I have four years of college math and four years of college physics. It's still hard for me. I can't even imagine what laymen go through. But you need to use a little common sense here. You need to look at the definitions. You need to look at what companies are talking about in, in terms of treatment. And you need to do your homework, okay? So there's a psychological selling tool going on here that I, I see every day with these room forms and the calls. It's a great way to gather data. I ask people, well, why did you put something in the corner of the room? Well, because I was told that it would treat the base. You were told that it would treat the base. And then they said, well, I don't have anything in the corners anyway. So it was an easy buying decision. If I thought it was going to treat the base problems I have, and I could buy this and stick it in the corner where I have nothing already. Wow, what an easy solution. I wish that was true. I'd create a product that goes in the corner. We don't have one because the corners are not your problem. Okay? So there's a psychological selling thing going on here. Let's tell people that this technology will solve their problem. And let's make it easy for them to buy because they're going to put it in the corner of the room where they have nothing already. It's not going to work. Okay. Here's what I always ask people on the calls. Well, what did you hear that changed? I heard a little change. That's all you're going to get is a little change because that's the surface area coverage that you are impacting by putting something in the corner. And you should go floor to ceiling with it if you're going to really carry this paradigm through till its end. But it just helped a little. Of course it just helped a little. 
because you just covered a little square footage of surface. If you've got a 100 square foot problem and you treat 10 square feet of it, you still have a 90% problem. And in acoustics, that's horrible. Absolutely horrible. You might as well do nothing at all. I get asked all the time, will you take my units on trade for your units? No. I did that in the beginning. I got a warehouse full of products that I don't know what to do with. I'm going to get, get rid of them soon because I need the space. But you got to think through this stuff. Room acoustics, even though it's a small domain, has very many complicated issues. And I've tried to communicate that to you through our extensive video program. Corner trap nonsense, it's not going to treat the problems. It's a Band-Aid. It's a small percentage of coverage when you need a large percentage of coverage to deal with the rooms that cause these issues. I really hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.